Hello uh, YouTube, this is Bro again with another tutorial. Um, this tutorial shows you how to rip DVDs um, and put them onto your Mac and also be able to put them onto your iPod. Um, now, I'm not really sure, to be honest, if this is legal. Um, because as long as you put it on but you don't like give it to anyone else then I don't think it counts as illegal because um, all you're doing is making it portable and um, putting it onto another f into another format. And so if you do this, don't like upload it onto a website or anything so other people can download it. Just do it for your own personal iPod use. Um, okay, so what you need to do first is download um, an application called Handbrake. Okay, um, okay, so what you want to do, um, yeah, okay, so I'll post this link in the description. You want to download the 6.1 megabyte version, okay, so you just click download, um, I don't, I've already got it, so I don't need to, it's called Handbrake, I'll post the link in the description. Um, once you've downloaded it, open it. So, oh, so can you just download? Okay. Open. Cancel that. Okay, so you'll have it here. What you want to do, toggle presets, is um. Hmm. Um. Yeah, sorry. It's lost my... I don't know what happened then. Um, what you want to do is you want to put a disk into your um, drive. Okay, wait for it to load. Well, and then make sure you have this, your cursor over DVD pair. Because like, the dot will appear and it will open it automatically. Okay, just wait for it. Yeah, okay, so right click and then so force quit. Wait for the dot to go. Yeah, okay. All that. Um, okay, so you want to click source here. Click that. This is Billy Connolly. Okay, open it. Okay, you also scanning. Okay, so wait for that to finish. Okay, so what you want to do is um, for iPod, for a normal iPod, you want to click that to toggle your presets. There'll be a button in the right hand corner. Okay, I have an iPod Touch, so I'd want to do that. Okay, and then here, find the one which is the longest. Okay, you might want to burn that afterwards, it's probably just special features or something. So, one out of 21, 29 minutes. Okay, and um, choose where you want to do it burn it to, so mine will be on my desktop, um, yeah, you want it in an mp4 file, um, then you go picture settings, and it will come up like that, okay, and so what you want to do is you want to, um, press your iPod against the screen, and see if it will fit, you know, and see if it's the, if it's a good resolution, okay, it almost always is if it's on iPod, okay, and then you just click start. Okay, and in the bottom it will say 0 0.06. Um, because it has, it should take less time. Sometimes it's about the same time as the movie, but it should take less time um, to burn it. Okay, so then you just leave it and it will burn to an MP4 file like that. It hasn't finished yet, that just shows where it's going to be. And um, open it with QuickTime Player and um, you'll be able to watch it um one if you when you want to put it onto um your ipod what you want to do is you want to um drag it drag it and drop it onto your dock okay until and, and then go to itunes and wait for that label saying itunes to pop up and then drop it there and then it will appear in your movies folder 
and then you can sync it with your iPod. Okay, so that's my tutorial. Thank you.